We are your benefit coordinators. If any of you are new and you're not sure who's your coordinator, we've got these papers up here at the front desk that you can pick up that tells you. But you can talk to either one of us. So, you know, if you don't get one of us, grab the other. Um, we're going to go over some changes that we have this year for uh, our new option period. Obviously, it's the same as every year. It's from October 1st through the 31st. And there are a few changes. I'm going to first, though, turn the floor over to our representatives. We have a representative from Health Choice, Global, and Blue Links. So I'm going to let them go first and talk about each of their plans and what changes they have, if any. And then you can ask them questions. And then I will come back up here and we'll go over some of the other changes for the option period time. So I'm going to let Shadon come first. She's with Health Choice, and um, they have the, the most plans available. So I'm going to let her give her spiel first, and then we will move on to the next. Thanks. Thank you all very much. Can you all hear me? All right. You all have to be careful with me in podiums like this. My grandpa was a preacher, <laughs> so this could get a little dangerous. <laughs> How many of you are new to ODOT within the last couple of years? So we've got a few. Okay, that kind of lets me know how I know what I need to tell you. First of all, I want to let you know the good news. No changes. No changes in premiums, no changes, no increases in your deductible, and no copay increases. So that is the good news. Everything is staying the same. I do want to remind you that health choice are your PPO options. So that means you kind of have a little bit of freedom of choice. Um, we have a huge provider network that you can go to. You don't need a referral to see a specialist. Remember that we do have out-of-network benefits. That's one of the luxuries of having a PPO. So those of you that have kids maybe going to college out of state, they're still covered. It's a little less. Um, it's going to cost you a little more, you know, out of pocket. But they are still covered. So any of you going to the OU Texas game this weekend and get, you know, need some urgent care or something like that, you've got benefits down there. You've got your freedom of choice, like I said. You've got plenty of specialists to go to. You don't need a referral to see them. You don't need to live in an HMO or a zip code area like you do with an HMO. So definitely freedom of choice. Now, for those of you that are newer, let's talk about the plans that are available because we basically have three. Your health choice high. That's going to be your most benefit-rich plan. You've got a $30 copay for your primary care physician, $50 copay for your specialist, and then once you meet your deductible, then we have a coinsurance of 80-20, we pay the 80, you pay the 20 for things like x-ray, lab, and hospitalization. And that is in your brochure that we put out here that looks like this. And this kind of breaks down all three of the plans. The next one is a little lower cost in premiums. It's called the basic. The basic works totally different than what you're probably used to. So throw everything out that you know about copays and, and paying a copay for a specialist or a primary care physician. How this one works is you get the first $500, what I refer to, on the house. We're going to pay your first $500 of allowable fees. Then you meet, it, say it's just you as an individual, $1,000 of allowable fees. That's your deductible. Once you meet that, then we split everything 50-50 of allowable fees. So what that means is if you go to a physician and it's $300 total bill, but we only allow 100 they're going to write off 200 you're going to pay 50 we're going to pay 50 So that's how that works. Your out-of-pocket maximum is only $700 more than the high option, so it does save you a little bit more money in premiums. There is a little bit more out-of-pocket, but keep in mind on this, too. Every health choice plan, you get two preventive services per year paid at 100%. So if you're one of those that, like I used to be, I only wanted to go that once or twice a year for my annual physical, and that was it. I didn't want to see him anymore. This, this plan might be perfect for you. However, I have found as I have gone older, I am seeing him way often than he wants me to. <laughs> so 
So when he walks in and sees me, he's starting to turn around and walk right back out the door. But so the basic plan may be something you want to consider. We also have the high deductible health plan. And that is exactly what it sounds like. It's a higher deductible. For an individual, it's $1,750. Once you meet that, then it mirrors the high plan. So it goes into your $30 copay, $50 copay for specialists, and then split x-ray lab and hospitalization, things like that at 80-20. Again, every plan, you get your two preventive services free a year. Any questions kind of about how the plans work? Yes. Yes. And on the basic plan, and I'm glad you reminded me of that, that $500 on the house is per person as well, not just one. Oh, you are jumping ahead of me. He's asking about the Health Choice Select. How many of you have heard about the Health Choice Select? I know some of you have, some of you told me you used it and it's working great. So that is this flyer. What this is, is procedures that are available on any of the Health Choice plans. This is not an extra plan that you have to sign up for or register for or pay additional premiums for. So say you needed a knee procedure done and your doctor wants you to have an MRI before you go have that done. Chances are, I know the MRI is going to be out here, probably the knee procedure is as well. If you are willing to have it done at the select facility associated with that procedure, everything is paid at 100%. Everything done the date of service. On your high plan and your basic plan, you don't even have to meet your deductible before it's paid at 100%. High deductible you do because it's a federal guideline, but it still saves you money because it's contracted at a lower rate. Once you meet your deductible, then of course it's paid at 100%. I was telling a gentleman earlier, I had a friend that posted on Facebook said I'm gonna have to have this knee procedure done and it's gonna cost me $4,000 and I'm so mad because I have health choice and blah, blah, blah. And I said, hold up there. For one thing, your out of pocket maximum is only $3,300, so you've got the amount wrong there. Secondly, is that a select procedure? And he said, I don't even know what you're talking about. I said, I need to know what you're having done. So he told me. I looked it up. Sure enough, it's a select procedure. So instead of $3,300, now he's paying $50 for a consultation with the specialist, and it's going to be paid at 100%. If you went in and say that you'd been sick the week before and they want a chest X-ray or EKG done that morning before your procedure, that's paid at 100% because it's done at the date of service. Any questions about the select? It's a good plan, y'all take advantage. Anytime your doctor tells you you need something, go out there and look and see if it's out there. If you can't find it, because sometimes they will put it under a category that I don't think it should be under, and it, it call us and we'll look it up. And our uh, professionals there on the other end will walk you through the process, help you find the facility, and let you know what you need to do. Last but not least, um, our care management program. This is in place for people with chronic illnesses, things like diabetes, hypertension, even asthma. What we want this plan to do is serve as an advocate for you and your care between you and your resources that are available. Last year when I was out, I met a woman. She said, I've been diagnosed with diabetes. Nobody in my family has had it. I don't even know where to begin. I don't know what to do. I don't know what lifestyle changes to make. So I was so happy to point her towards this program because it helped her be proactive with her care rather than reactive and kind of set back on her heels and just let it guide her. We want you to enjoy quality of life. You let us worry about getting you to where you need to be. And that's what this plan is in place for. Any questions? Yes. Oh, hang on, they're bringing you a microphone. They're recording this. So I hope everybody touched up their lipstick. <laughs> um, for the deductible for the health choice high, it says a family is three or more. So for just two, is it just you just add it add the two for individual or? Even if it was two or more or three or more, if you met your deductible first you would kick into the co-insurance even before that 3300 or the 2000 was met. 
if you are the only one that had charges for some surgery for whatever reason and you met your $750 deductible and that's all that's met of that $2,000, you're going to go into the coinsurance of 8020. Everybody else still has to work up to that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Other questions? <laughs> Any other questions? Just on the um, high deductible, mm -hmm. the deductible is not separated if you're a family, right? Right. So it's seventeen fifty if it's an individual, but if there's two or more, there you have to put out the full thirty five hundred before benefits kick in for any. Uh, Correct. Okay. And the good thing about the high deductible health plan is your pharmacy costs also go into that deductible bucket rather than being separated like the other two. Anybody else? All right, thank you so much. I want to go ahead and talk a little bit more about the high deductible plan because more and more people are signing up for it and part of the deal with the high deductible is that you're supposed to set up an account through a banking facility. American Fidelity is the bank that's been um, authorized to do our health savings accounts. Um, you're supposed to, of course, the way it works is you have this savings account in the bank. You have money that you're putting into that every paycheck. So if and when something happens, the money is there to, to cover your deductible or to cover your co-pays. I have a lot of the young EITs that are coming in and they're choosing this plan just because it's the cheapest and they're not setting up an account, they're not putting any money in it, which is okay, you're not required to do that, but it kind of defeats the whole purpose of having the health savings account. Another thing about the health savings account is this is your money forever. If you leave ODOT and you go work for Chesapeake or somebody else, that health savings account stays there. It's your money, it's there. You can use it for health items. You can't go out and buy new tires or something like that. But it's your money and it's going to be your money no matter what, which is totally different than the flexible spending, the health care reimbursement accounts. That's the one where we always say use it or lose it. Two different things. You can't have both. If you have the health savings, you can't have the flexible spending account. They're two different things. We have the applications and information from American Fidelity, if you are interested in the high deductible plan and you, you're wanting to learn a little more about it, um, we've got the brochures, we've got the applications to fill out, and I just want to make you guys aware of that because it is becoming more popular, mainly because it is cheaper. But um, you can change your contributions that you have going in there during the year, you don't have to wait till option period time. If you want to increase it or decrease it during the calendar year, you're able to do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let Marty Conway, he's with Global. I'm going to let him talk to you for a little bit, and we'll keep this moving. Good morning. I am, I'm Marty Conway. I was here last year. Uh, some of you remember I'm a retired state employee, so I've dealt with the insurance on the receiving end as well as now selling it. And we do have some changes. Global Health made changes this year uh, primarily to contain the uh, premium cost. Uh, we maintain the zero primary care physician charge. Uh, as most of you are aware, that includes anything that happens in that office. Uh, last year I went in, I thought I had cancer on my arm. Uh, my doctor cut that out, sent it to the lab, I'm diabetic, so she took my uh, blood and did the lab work on that. And thank God I don't have cancer, but it didn't cost me anything for any of it. Now on the new 2019, it will be a $10 copay for lab and a $10 copay for x-rays, which in the current year were both zeros. Uh, we still have no deductibles, so we start paying immediately. And uh, I, I'm going to tell you the urgent care stayed the same, the $25 copay. Uh, that's a really good benefit. I know, especially when I was still raising all my children, it seemed like they always wound up the sickest at night when 
all the doctor's offices were closed or last minute when you couldn't get an appointment. And again, that's anything that occurs while you're there. Strep tests, whatever they do, is included for $25. We've uh, also, we've got the outpatient uh, surgery service. It's a $250 copay at the preferred facilities. You'll find that those facilities are usually the physician-owned, standalone, ambulatory type uh, places. We've got a We've got a bunch of them in Oklahoma City. It's not hard to find those kind of services. It is important, however, if you're being referred for something to make sure that you are being referred to a uh, preferred care. And you can call Global Health. We'll help you with that. Uh, yesterday at Clinton ODOT, uh, one of our members told me that his physician had actually referred him to a hospital and our referral department called him personally and said, hey, if you let us change that, instead of paying $750, you'll pay $250. So it, if you're having something done, you might as well save that $500. Now on outpatient, any outpatient is covered. We don't have a list. It's just any outpatient surgery will be covered for that $250 at a preferred care. The uh, other thing I wanted to talk about just for a minute is the referrals. We do referrals. I've had two of them in my family this uh, current year. Uh, it takes less than 24 hours to get a referral, and it's taken longer to get an actual appointment with a specialist than it'll ever take to get the referral. And if you have an emergency situation, of course there's no referral required. <laughs> you get the help you need when you need it, and we'll pay. Uh, we also have a really good network. Uh, it includes Integris, Mercy, St. Anthony's, and the two heart hospitals. So here in Oklahoma City, you're not going to have a hard time staying in network with Global Health, which several of you are already familiar with that. We've got a $50. It stayed the same for specialists, a $50 copay. And again, that covers anything that they do in office, uh, which can be several different procedures they'll do in office that cost you no additional money. Uh, we maintain the $500 maternity copay. Um, I said earlier, and it's true, it cost me more than that in 1981 when my first son was born. So that's a pretty good benefit. The uh, bills are extremely simple. When you're using our insurance, you're not getting bills from a lot of different places for one surgery. You get one bill at $250 a day, up to three days, $750. You can be in the hospital for a month. It's going to cost you $750. Uh, my wife went in the emergency room this summer. She had kidney stones. We were in there three and a half hours. I got the bill. It was $7,200. It cost me $300. Now, in 2019, where that same event took uh, occur, if it were to occur in 2019, we would add a $50 physician charge onto that, so it would cost $350 in the coming year. A friend of mine from Bill Johnson had open heart surgery at the Oklahoma Heart Hospital. He was in there two days. Uh, that's over $100,000, and it cost him $500. And it's the only bill he'll ever get for that. So, again, it's a pretty phenomenal benefit. We've been in Oklahoma, ever since our company was started in Oklahoma, uh, for the last 15 years, we've insured uh, Oklahoma State workers, uh, and we're here for the long haul. We really work hard to provide a good service. Our customer service department is in Oklahoma City. Every one of them live in the Oklahoma City area, and I can tell you, if they, don't do their, if they don't do right and you don't feel good about it and you think you need more help than that, my name is Marty Conway. My cell phone number for my personal cell phone is 580-334-2846. And you've got employees right here in this building that have needed to call me and they can tell you I will help. Uh, I take it serious. We need to take good care of people. That's why we're taking your money. And when you need our help, then we need to be there for you. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. I have a couple. 
I have a couple actually. Um, on the uh, emergency room copay, it it says in our um, comparison guide, three hundred and fifty dollar copay plus the fifty dollar physician charge. Yeah, so corrected. is that four hundred? Yes, I stand corrected. I'm okay. very sorry. Yes, sir. So my doctor found the referral to someone that took Global Health and that's all the way up in Tulsa and they can't find anything within the Oklahoma City area. If I was to call into Global Health, would they be able to maybe find something that my doctor can't find on their system? Yes, call into uh, customer service and they will tell you exactly what we have or stick around after this is over and I'll help you look it up. Could you go into a little explanation about the uh, formulary tiers uh, where it had three tiers before, now there are five tiers, and any medications that were on there that you will, do you ever have that you drop? Do you notify I actually had patients? The form, I actually have the formulary tiers on my phone. If you'll come and see me afterwards, we'll look at that. Because okay. I don't have them memorized, I'll tell you right now. Well, okay. <laughs> you understand. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Marty. Okay, now we have Dana from Blue Links, who is a new carrier with the state this year. Um, that's one of our big changes. So she's gonna come up and tell us what benefits her plan offers, and I'm going to turn the floor over to her. Hello, everyone. My name is, um, we said is, um, as Brenda said, is Dana Mobley Hammond from Blue Cross and Blue Shield. And I am glad to be here today telling you about some of our big differences. Can everybody hear me okay? Good, good. So one of our big differences, and hopefully this will be non-confusing and clear, but one of our big differences is our premiums. We are 13% lower than any other HMO options, okay? And we are the largest um, HMO network, the largest na HMO network available in the state of Oklahoma. So those are two huge things. And we offer coverage in all 77 counties, all 77 counties. So as long as you stay in the network, there is no referrals. You don't have to have a referral to see a specialist. And so this is very clear. We have no deductibles. Um, there's no, or no cost to you, there's no deductible, no co zero copay. We have um, zero copay for primary care physicians. We have zero copay for lab and x-rays. And we are excited this year because we are offering a customer service line 24-7 so to be available to you. Right now, you can call during the option period and talk to someone during normal business hours. But this is going to be a dedicated 24-7 customer service line that you can call at any time, and we have a 24-7 uh, nurse line. This will go into effect on January 1. So all of you know, we, that those of us with kids or ourselves sometimes, we don't know whether to go to the emergency room or our child gets sick, we, and they have the symptoms, we really don't know how to treat it. So all we have to do is pick up the line and call the customer service number, and they can maybe resolve it for us. And so we do have our Blue Access 4 members, if you become a member, where you can check your um, claims or your benefit plan or, or and has other resources on it. And you should have a packet like this. We have a lot of good information in it. We have a fitness plan that you, weight management plan. We have um, special beginnings for those um, in pregnancy and everything, so they assist our pregnancy, pregnancies. And we have the 365 discount program. So you get 
discounts on shoes, and so most of you are familiar with Blue Cross and Blue Shield, maybe are those in Oklahoma. So if um, those are, to recap, those are some of our big highlights this year. Zero cost to you, zero deductible, zero copay for a primary, seeing a primary care physician, no referrals. So, and um, uh, zero copay for lab and x rays. Those are big deals. So, are there any questions? I just kind of went over a high level, what I wanted to really highlight on. So, do you have any questions at this point? Yes. Um, Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Um, my husband sees a pain management doctor once a month, and with the insurance we have, it's actually cheaper for us to go in as a cash-paying client and then use our insurance to get his prescriptions. Mm -hmm. You said if they're in network, we don't have to do referrals, but if not they're to see a specialist. Now, mm -hmm. if they're out of network, will Blue Links cover the prescription from that doctor? Well, if they're out of network, I'm not sure if they'll cover because they HMO. You have to have your uh, primary doctors in network, and um, to not have a referral you have to have someone in network, in network as well. So I can take that question down and make sure for you because I don't know the answer to that and I don't want to give you a wrong answer. Okay, thank you. And see me after this and I'll t get your name and number and make sure I call you back. Yes. Uh, I was just wondering about special me specialty med medications, um, mm -hmm. if they would be covered or what would be the copay for something like that. Oh, that's a good point, and I'm glad you brought that up because um, just so everybody else knows, there is um, zero copay for prescription uh, preferred generic drugs. Mm -hmm. And you have a list of our drugs on the back of your, so you might want to see if that's there. And if not, then I would certainly call the customer service number and make sure it is available to you because um, we would just want to make sure you get the accurate information. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Do your prescriptions fall within the deductible, like a similar plan here on the list, or is it separate? Whether the deductible, yes, the coinsurance, it has a copay. All the drugs, let me get it for you. So your generic, preferred generic drugs are zero copay. Your non-preferred is 10 or 25 copay. I'm just wondering if it falls under the 10,500 per family. It says for medical and prescriptions, but I just wanna see if it's the copay that you're paying or if it's the allowable cost, that falls into whatever you pay out. Okay, thank you. Um, on the hospital outpatient, it says $250 copay per visit. Is that, that not, um, you don't have to be in a certain facility. It can be anyone that the doctor works in? If it's in network, 250, and it goes up to three visits. Of course, if you're out of town or you just have an emergency, you have to go, of course, it's going to be urgent that you be in a hospital, so we will cover. But if you're in the hospital, it's $250 per night. But it doesn't have to be like the preferred in any certain kind of facility. It is HMO, so it has to be in network. Right. But if you have a um, emergency, you just have to go to the, the hospital that's closest, and it will be, we will honor it, put it like that. 
Okay, and the specialist, or, or where, the, where it said it was no referral, mm -hmm. as long as it's an HMO specialist? Right, in network, correct. So my son is like in Stillwater in college, mm -hmm. so if he has to go to a specialist for some reason, he just needs to make sure it's an HMO? In network, yes. In network, okay, yes. thank you. Mm -hmm. And you can find, on, uh, go on our website now, um, Blue Cross Blue Shield, bcbsok.com, and look up the providers and hospital, all that information is out there if you want to make sure that the doctor's out there, if the hospital's out there, but yeah, you can find that information. Or you can call customer service. And the customer service number is actually in the packet as well that I left. It is a customer service number in there as well. Are there any other questions? If not, you can see me afterwards. Oh, yes. Oh, the gym membership. Mm -hmm. Sorry. The I was just asking program. for the gym memberships. Okay. So it's $25, and there should be a fitness formula, sir. So it's $25 a month. You go to a gym, and um, if they're with Blue Cross and Blue Shield, most of them are. Yeah, it should be $25 a month. Um, I'm not sure if it's family, but um, it is $25 a month, and you can ask them about that, yeah, if it is or not. But I know it's $25 a month for you, if they accept it. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Okay, you guys should have all received an enrollment guide. I don't know what happened to mine. Um, we, had the, we have those printed every year. ODOT is the only agency in the state that has these enrollment guides. You guys may not think that's a big deal. I think it's a big deal. Um, we, go to, we go to our training like the middle of September and I come back and the next day I'm in office services trying to find Rhonda Neal to tell her, hey, I need 2,400 copies of this in two weeks, while she's also trying to run the eight-year program or whatever else. So if you guys see Rhonda, please tell her thank you. I know I say this every year, but it's a huge job. Um, keep these, you guys. Keep them, keep them for the year. If nothing else, keep them for the phone numbers. Make you a copy of this to leave in your desk. If you want to take the book home, that's fine. But go through this. In the comparison guide, if there's something bolded, if you, when you're looking at that and you see it's a, a, a bolded lettering, that's a change from last year. That's what that means, that this is, this is something that's different from last year. So look at that. Um, most of you guys have been here long enough to know they've got the benefits calculator on the website. You can go and plug in the different plans. Um, you guys know, obviously, benefit allowance didn't go up again this year. My deal is I'm thankful that we're still getting what we're getting. So um, I don't know if it'll ever go up again, you guys. The other, the other health, not health plans, but the dental plans, the vision plans, their benefits didn't change. The, the dental plans, Delta is down to two, um, midli or MetLife. Is it, yeah, MetLife is down to two plans. Assurance changed their name to Sun Life. None of the benefits changed. Same with the vision plans. We still have the same ones. Their benefits didn't change. You do have to enroll each year in a vision plan. Um, also, you have to enroll each year in the uh, reimbursement accounts if you are interested in doing that. You know, we always tell you the flexible spending account, that's the one, use it or lose it. Make sure you budget what money you're putting in there. You know, you can sit down and figure out what your prescriptions are gonna cost, and you know if you are gonna have knee surgery or need a root canal. So make sure you budget that money so that at the end of the year you've spent it, that you're not sitting there with $600 that you don't have anything to spend it on. Um, April? Brenda, um, I just noticed you said that 
you need to enroll a vision plan every year. What she meant, just to clarify, was that if you want a vision plan, you have to re-enroll right. every you year. You don't have to it. enroll every year in it. That's right. Thanks. Um, Tobacco-free attestation. If you're a health choice member, you have to fill that out every year. It's not just for you. It's for everybody in your family. So it's online. Be sure you fill that out. Your enrollment's online. Started yesterday. Goes through midnight, October 31st. You can change it a million times between now and then. What you've got at midnight on the 31st is what you're going to have next year. The only way you can get it changed is if you move out of the zip code area and the plan you have is not available in that zip code, then you can make a change. That rarely happens, especially with Blue Links and Global. They're in all 77 counties, so chances of that happening are not too good. Um, you use your core ID as your ID when you go to log on. It's simple. You guys have been doing it now for several years. You can't move to the next page till you select something in each box on that page. Be sure when you get to the bottom that you hit the submit button. Be sure that you make you a copy. Um, again, the um, flexible spending, the health savings account are two different things. Don't get those confused. The um, life insurance, supplemental life insurance, you can apply for additional life insurance every option period. We've got, there's an extra form you get to fill out. We wouldn't want you to miss filling out some forms. It will be sent in. Um, OMEZ will either approve or deny you this additional coverage. You can also decrease your supplemental life if you want. Um, I've done that as I've gotten older and the price started going up. So that's another option that you can do at option period time. Also, another thing I want to talk to you guys about, and if you know people that opt out, they cannot do the online enrollment. They have to do a paper enrollment, and there's also an additional form that they have to fill out. So if you overhear one of your coworkers saying something about, well, I opt out, I, you know, I don't have to, it does not roll over. It has to be done on a paper enrollment form with the opt out additional sheet. So again, we have those here. Um, I think I can't think of anything else. Have you guys got any questions for for April or myself? You know where we are. You know where our offices are. You don't have to make an appointment. You guys just come in, just holler. Right now, we don't have a front desk person, so you ring that little bell and we'll come running. Um, Please, you know, if you have questions, all of this stuff is online. Every vision carrier, every dental carrier, every health carrier, OMEZ has got the enrollment. Everything's online. So if you're a computer person and, and that's what you want to do is go out there, again, just like Dana was saying, call, you can call these customer services numbers right now while you're trying to make a choice. Ask them about the prescriptions you take. Ask them maybe about a procedure that you have coming up. They're there to, to help you to make this decision. If you're choosing one of the HMOs, make sure that your doctor is accepting new patients and does accept that plan. Make sure when you call, I always tell everybody call. Don't depend on necessarily the list that's on, on the website. Call that doctor and, and make sure you specify it's the state plan. It's not just Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Don't call and say, I have Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Yeah, they may say, yeah, I take it. But you need to say, I have Blue Links. I'm a state employee. It's the state plan. So that's sometimes confusing. So make sure that you double check on that. Also, yeah, Marty? I did that with my pharmacy. Yeah, that's probably make sure your pharmacy. Another thing that's going to be coming up this next year, which none of us are going to like, the state is doing a 100% audit of our dependents. Every, every state employee is going to have to provide proof 
that whoever you're carrying on your insurance is a legal dependent. So if you don't know where your kid's birth certificates are, or you don't know where your marriage license is, I'm giving you a heads up because it's coming and it's gonna affect all of us. And I think we have like 90 days to provide this information. This was just thrown at us at our training. We didn't get very many details. I don't know how they're gonna do it. I don't know if they're gonna send a letter to each of us. I don't know what it's gonna entail, but it's, it's gonna be a, a lot of work. And it's an independent company that's doing this audit. It's not a state agency. So just a heads up that that's coming. Yes, ma'am. Uh, certified I don't think it will have to be certified because even now with our retirement stuff and anything we do it's just a copy it doesn't have to be a certified copy um, another thing I want to also remind you guys we do this every year update beneficiaries update addresses I've gotten a lot of calls recently Oprah sent out their annual statement and it it said in there you do not have a current beneficiary I got lots of calls people calling it says I don't have any beneficiaries well, yeah, you probably do. What you're missing is a current beneficiary. They're trying to get people that haven't updated their beneficiaries in years, and we have people that may not, you know, they started working here 20 years ago right out of college. They weren't married. They put their mom and dad down as beneficiaries. Well, now they've been married 10 years and have two kids. You need to update your beneficiaries. I can tell you horror stories. I mean, it happens every year. We have an employee that will pass away and has not updated beneficiaries or, or something like that. It's, it's, it's a hard thing to go talk to those people and say, well, I'm sorry, but your ex-girlfriend that lives in Arizona is the beneficiary. So um, it's not hard. It's out there. ODOT bulletin board, if you go under HR forms, all the beneficiary forms are there. You don't get to just do one. I want you to do for your life insurance, for your retirement, and if you have Sooner Save for Sooner Save. Also, I want you to do it if you have bank accounts at the credit union or loans at the credit union. Update your beneficiaries. Even if it's the same people, like mine's been my son's forever. Well, my youngest son moved last year, so they don't have a current address. When something happens to you, they're calling us, do you have a phone number, do you have an address, or they're looking at the form that you guys filled out 20 years ago and you probably don't even live there anymore. So please update your addresses and your beneficiary forms. It's, it's not hard, and you can do that anytime. Um, we also, today, I'm gonna let Luke's from the Oklahoma's, and no, nope, I started to say it wrong, Luke, Oklahoma's Credit Union. Thank you. All right, how we doing? You guys doing great? You look so happy. Woo! All right, it's Tuesday. Um, Tuesday. I mean, you guys, I mean, it's, you, you should be happy. You got benefits and all that good stuff. Um, thank you so much for allowing me to come. Of course, I'm with Oklahoma's Credit Union. Um, we're right down the hallway. You may have seen our new frosted glass because we're so cool in there. Um, not really, but uh, we'll be updating that uh, pretty soon. A um, couple of things I want to tell you about, just because, you know, you, you, you may hear about us, might be something like, well, you know, it's the credit union, what, what can they do to help me? I want to tell you about a couple of stories of how we've helped uh, some state employees. Of course, we love our state employees. We love the uh, Department of Transportation, been around since 1954, and uh, that's because of you guys, so thank you very much. Um, whenever uh, we get a call sometimes from someone, they're like, you know, I, I just need some help. We had a lady call me and she said, you know, I need to get a, I need to get a new air conditioner for my house. It was going to cost $7,500. Uh, she didn't have any way to get that done. She really was trying to figure out a way to, to get that air conditioner for her home. And uh, the way we ended up doing it was helping her with an auto loan. She had a car that didn't have a loan against it. So we were able to get her that $7,500 so she could get uh, a new air conditioner. Of course, that helped her out a lot because the interest rate on getting a car loan is much cheaper than getting a what someone might call a personal loan or a signature loan. Um, so we we were really happy to help her with that. Um, other ways I've seen us really uh, help members is you know people if you've experienced your debit card or your uh, card being having some fraudulent charges on there. Anyone experienced that? You probably have. It's unfortunate. It happens a lot nowadays. 
uh, but we are able to give provisional credit and get those things taken care of uh, really quickly and make sure that you're not, uh, you don't have any issues that are keeping you from being able to use your uh, account and be able to uh, get money if you need it. So we've been able to see a lot of things like that. A lot of, uh, we've helped a lot of, uh, a lot of our members in a lot of different ways. Probably helped you, I hope. And if we haven't, we'd love to do that. Um, I passed out some of these a little earlier. You may have seen them. If you do have one or if you don't, there's some right up here. Uh, there's a little tear-off sheet. And if you could, just write on there your name and, and uh, say that you saw Luke and that he said something really, really good. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that would help me and make sure that uh, my boss knows I've actually done something today. Um, and uh, other than that, uh, I don't really have anything else. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Some people want to know about auto and auto rates, so I want to tell you our rate right now is as low as 3.74% up to 60 months. Um, also, certificates uh, of, used to be called certificates of depression because they were so sad, but now the rates are actually starting to go up a little bit. So uh, those certificates, whenever you're uh, looking at saving money over a term, uh, we have rates as high as right now as 3.29%. So uh, that's really exciting to be able to offer those kind of rates. We're always trying to be the top rates in Oklahoma City. So if you see anything that you're like, hey, they, I saw this, bring it to me. Let me see if I can match it, okay? I'd love to make sure I help you out with uh, your saving over the long term as well. Thanks so much. Hope you have a great day. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, the uh, remodel, as far as it goes, uh, I want to let you know is uh, on November the 2nd, uh, through November the 12th, that is the current time frame that the branch will be closed uh, to do a remodel. The branch is not going to, it's not going away. Like there's still going to be people here in the building to help you. Um, and so, but it'll be closed from the 2nd through the 12th. We'll reopen on the 13th. Um, you want to make sure you come around the 13th, 14th. We're probably going to have some really exciting things going on at the, at the branch. Um, do want to let you know that uh, the main difference is uh, that there will not be a teller, so you won't be able to have come in and get changed for a 20. It's why you get a pen. That's why you're getting a pen today. Uh, I'm looking at you. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, so uh, you will still be able to, if you have a, an account with a debit card, be able to get funds out of an ATM, which will dispense $5 bills as well as 20s. Um, so you'll be able to get that and, and anything else. I'm, I'm a doing what I can to get you a, a cone to put in your parking spot if you've got to drive down the street, save your spot. I'm doing what I can. I can't guarantee anything, but if not, I'll go stand in your spot. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I know, I know, I know you will, Nikki. I know you will. Uh, all right. Anything else? Any other questions? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a member of the credit union as well. Okay, you guys, do you have any questions for any of us about anything? Okay, you guys, thank you so much for coming. Um, I know this is a hassle. We do it every year, but I do appreciate you coming. I do appreciate your questions, and hopefully if you have some individual questions that you want to ask the representatives, they'll be here for a little bit. Yes, Trish. Are all of the formularies for 2019 updated at this time? Do you guys know? We're not sure, Teresa. Okay. So I would say probably not. Well, call them. Call that customer service number and, and ask them what, if they, can, they may have it available that they can look to see what it will be for 2019. Anything else? Again, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate you.